Guess who is awake? Focus, he's awake. Let's go get our bubba. Good morning, beautiful. Hi. Are you ready to get dressed for the day, my baby? Yeah. Let's do it. Is this not the cutest thing you have ever seen? She's like, wait, she's camera doing smile, Baba. Smile. I love the smile. Literally, he has a diaper on, by the way. He just loves to sit here now and play with his little foxy. Is that your foxy? Yes, that's my foxy. Oh my gosh. You are so cute. I can't even. <gasps> mm. All right, guys. So you guys kind of saw the beginning of a vlog. Hey, guys. How's it going? It is Fangs. It's the holiday season, so we've been doing a little bit of uh, cards or gift codes that have been popping up in the video. There will be one that pops up randomly in this one unless you guys get this past 750 likes. And then in the next one, which will be tomorrow, we will do two. So that's kind of how this is going to work. Now you're gonna notice I'm wearing the same thing as I wore in the vlog that happens tomorrow right here. And that's because we recorded this part of the video and then we did all the rest of the day and then we went and we edited and <laughs> this part of the video didn't have audio. So um, we're gonna go ahead and re-record because it's just kind of like me and Rook here anyway. He doesn't really know what's going on. What's mom doing? What's mom doing? So as you can tell from the title, um, we went to the emergency room and so we didn't vlog or record a lot of, I mean we did take some pictures just because it was like at a time where he was feeling better but during the emergency part of it we didn't record because why would I be recording at that point um, whenever my son is miserable and like looks like he's close to dying and I'm just crying. I mean just I didn't want to record any of that but so he started out last Wednesday and he was pretty sick. Uh, he was coughing and he was doing this thing which it has nothing to do with it. There's this thing he does when he's excited. He goes <laughs> And so he was doing that and then there was coughing and stuff with it. So I was like, oh my god, he can't breathe. We went to, that happened on Wednesday. Um, we went to the pediatrician on Thursday and the pediatrician said it looks like it might be just like a little cold, normal, nothing big. He should be fine but if it gets worse on the weekend, come back. So he's fine pretty much Friday. We decided to go to my mom's and Saturday he's a little bit still just like coughing stuff up and sneezing and he's gotten some like eyes, his eyes were watering and some gook was coming out of his eyes and I was like, okay, so he's not really, did I bring your guy? Here's your guy. You want this one? Do you want this one? You don't know? He's not really, um, you know, completely healthy and I'm like, this is going on for a while so maybe we need to get back home. That night he woke up in the middle of the night and he was miserable in a coughing fit and I was like, Will, we were in the top of Oklahoma, six hour drive from where we're supposed to be. We need to get home now in case we need to go to our doctor or to our emergency room or anything like that. So we drive from 3.30 in the morning, we come all the way home and we get home and he's still really sick. We He won't fall asleep unless he's in my arms and I'll be showing some pictures throughout this that you can kind of see, but he won't fall asleep unless he's in my arms. And then he finally does and he sleeps for about two hours and he wakes up and he is literally the reddest thing I have ever seen. And he didn't have a fever this whole time, but this time I checked it and it was 102.5. And I was like, oh my God, Will's asleep upstairs because we hadn't slept. And I'm like, get up, we have to go to the emergency room right now. Like he's got 102 fever, this is my first kid. So like I'm freaking out. Not to mention he was just not his normal self. He was really, really just not smiling. Do you like to smile? Do you like to smile? I'm chewing on things right now. He wasn't smiling or doing any of this. And so I was like, okay, we need to go to the emergency room. And on the way there, he was in his car seat. I'm not even like lying in his car seat and just like this. And I was like, you know, tapping him, trying to get him to wake up. And he wasn't waking up, which he normally is very spry. So I'm pulling him out of the car seat and trying to get him to wake up. And he does wake up. Um, he is fine. He's just so lethargic because of the fever, I think is what was going on. And so we make it to the emergency room and they get us in. Funny story in between all of this. We go in with four different babies, because there was a lot of kids here, four different babies, all that were about a year or older, and he weighed more than all of them. They weighed us one after the other, he weighed more. Like I heard a nurse go off to the side and she's like, 
he's only six months old? Like it was kind of like a little funny part, but anyway, we get into there, into the emergency room, which Cook Children's is what we have here. Amazing, by the way. They get him in there, they give him some Motrin, which brings the fever down, and then they start running all these tests, trying to find out RSV. Oh, he's feeling better today, but he's still got a little bit of the cough. You okay? You okay? We good? RSV is in like a season right now. What RSV is, is it is a cold for a baby, but 10 times worse. And because they like usually breathe out of their nose when they're very young, like up to three months old, it can be really fatal if it gets too serious because they start to get this bronchiolitis or something and it makes it hard for them to breathe. And he was having those problems too. So they checked him out. They did this nose swab, comes back. He's positive for RSV. So we're like, this could take two to six weeks to recover. He's actually really good at the recovery right now. Jim's doing pretty good. We're, we're like at day, we're at day seven, I think. So he's pretty good. Um, but it took, oh, it'll take that long to recover. And on top of that, he had pneumonia. So we did a chest x-ray, which was so sad because you have to like hold their arms and do all this stuff. And the man had pneumonia. Like, how do you get all these things, Bubba? He was miserable. And so we sat there in the emergency room. We got to watch Frozen, which he really liked that movie. But we sat there and then we got all of our antibiotics and we came home and it had to be like in that moment, probably one of the scariest moments of my life because as you know, when you're sick, you're kind of scared for yourself. And like, if you have to go to the emergency room, you're worried, but it's nothing like comparable to if your baby is miserable and sick and they have to go to the emergency room and you're scared for their life. Like it is the most different, most shocking feeling I've ever felt in my entire life. Like, what are you doing? Where are you going? What are you doing? You wanna come sit on my lap? Come here. It's scary, like it's nothing you ever should have to deal with. And it's just not fun, is it? What do you think? Is it not fun? It made me cry, like I was bawling. It made me cry for him. I just wanted him to feel better. And he's doing a lot better now. We're um, way into it. He still kind of has the cough a little bit and his nose is a little runny, but it will probably take another like four days, I'd say until he's 100% back to normal, but it is awful. So that was my first emergency room trip. And they say you do it a lot with babies. They say they have seven to eight colds a year. This is his first one. He doesn't go to daycare. He has a nanny. Um, so I've just been really, really like fickle about now just not, I wash my hands after everything. I use sanitizer because he had to have probably gotten it from us. He doesn't hang out with a lot of other babies. He was around a couple at Halloween, but he already had it then. Um, and I hope he didn't give it to them. I don't think he did. But uh, we didn't know he was contagious then. But for now, we're just trying to keep everything clean. We got flu shots. He's gonna get, he didn't get to get his six month shots because of all this happening. So I give him some baby food. Six month shots next week, which he's gonna hate on top of that. And he's gonna get a flu shot. So we're just trying to avoid sickness. But guys, scariest thing of my life. Um, that is just like something I wanted to come and bring. Cause I happened on, I was putting stuff out on Twitter about it a little bit. And so I wanted people to have like a full idea of the story of what exactly happened. Anyway, we're gonna go into the rest of the day. This is gonna be weird. It's not fully vloggish. It's just gonna be a bunch of random like jumps of different things happening. Um, I got some fly new Nike kicks and I have hopefully some more coming in the future. But don't forget guys to hit that thumbs up button. This guy is probably hungry. We are feeling much better today. We're in our PlayStation, sitting up looking nice. Hey, Brooksy Rooksy, Baba. I don't know if we quite understand our name just yet. Rook. Hey, Rook, babe. <laughs> He's like, I am playing with my stuff. I don't care to talk to you right now, mama. We actually got looked at, by the way, for the head. I don't know if you guys remember his head was a little bit flatter before in the back. Um, and they said that, I mean, it's just barely minor now and that it will round up before his first birthday, which is amazing. So he doesn't have to have a helmet, which is awesome. Those things are super expensive, but if it needed to be, like, we would definitely do it for him. Hey, Rook. Are you just too into your stuff right there? What are you playing with right there? <gasps> the pink bear? Hi! You're such a sweet man. You just having fun with your toys? All grown up and six months old? Yes, you are. a little overweight and she's gonna have to go on a diet and this is what we've been told to possibly get her the weight control though so I've got to look for it I'll let you know when I find it Ooh, squirrel here we go 
royal canine weight. Wow, squirrel, I did this to her. I just overfed her, I guess. All right, so we have another pair of Nikes that I wanted to unbox in this video. Um, I've been collecting shoes as of recently. It's my new kick. Uh, I don't know what Doobie thinks about that. What do you think about my new kick? Um, I better get some truck parts to equal to the cost of every kick that you get. <laughs> <laughs> He's been looking at you. You've been looking at shoes yourself. Now that uh, we have okay. a chat with two friends, and he's been looking at what was the kind you like? I like the Pharrell. Pharrell Adidas. The Pharrell Q um, in MDs. In MDs. Something like that. I feel like I've seen those. They're so awesome. They're probably going to be a pair that's going to be like the ridiculous ones that if you don't get it right when it comes out, then they're going to be just a ridiculous yeah, I'll price. Be able to get them. These are the Nike Air Max One Premiums. Um, they have a beautiful floral print, so get ready for it. In three, two, one, kabam, kabam, kabooda boom. I guess you can't really see what that looks like. I'm probably have to get up close to the camera, but as you can see, we got ourselves some new. Now, a lot of people didn't agree with me on these whenever they saw the picture of them, but I feel like you have to really see them in person to really understand the greatness of these shoes. Even Doobie said he didn't think he agreed with them, and then he saw them in person, he's like, mm, those are pretty, are pretty fly. This, it's gotta go here, and then I'm gonna get close to the camera so you guys can see this up close and personal. Let's go ahead and move that there. Ooh, gosh, my camera doesn't even wanna focus on it because it doesn't know what to do. There you go, bada bing. Look how beautiful. We'll pop it this way, got that nice black bottom, and then we'll pop it this way, even more beautiful. Then we'll go to the back, you got the Air Max logo. Do you want to focus on it or do you not? You don't? You do, maybe. Not really. And then to the inside and the top right here, this shoe is one of the coolest pairs. Like this this outside here, this is just like a weird suede. I don't even know what, did they tell you what that is? It's a different material than I've ever had on any kind of shoe. It says it's made in Indonesia. That's all it tells me. This is a size eight in men's, um, which I am. I'm a 9.5 in women's now, but a size eight in men's. Um, and I, Love it. I think this is my first pair of Nike Air Maxes, period. I'm gonna try them on for you guys just to see. This is obviously not, I'm trying to think now that I've gotten a lot of these shoes, like what outfits would I even wear these with? And that's kind of the harder part now that I think about it. Like I love them, I just wear them around with anything. But if I wanted to wear them with like an exact outfit, which one would that be? These are really tight in the laces. I like to have my laces like very loose. Take a look at them right there. What do you think? You like? Those are amazing. I think they're pretty amazing. I'm gonna do a little walk so they can see that. If you wanna back it up, we'll do a little walk here. I love them. I freaking love, that is comfortable. That is extremely, like most of my Nikes have been way too tight fitting. That is extremely comfortable. That is amazing. What do you think? Every bit about it? I'm gonna wear these at some point, maybe this weekend. I'm afraid to wear the other ones. I'm afraid to wear the other ones, the ones that I paid like 700 for, because I did get that crep spray that people told me to get, and I sprayed it, and I'll probably spray like all my shoes with it, but uh, they're just, they're so expensive that if I mess it up, people are like, don't crease them. Like, how are you supposed to not crease them if you can't, you can't wear them at that point? Like, I wanna be able to wear my shoes. I love wearing my shoes, and I really, really love these. If you guys have some ideas for some other fly shoes that I should get, please let me know in the comments down below. Just send me any type of link or any type of name of them, and I would love, love, love to take a look at them because I am like in the market right now. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. So, I was at Target, are we recording? Yeah. So I was at Target earlier, you guys know, and I kind of went a little bit crazy. First, I want to show you back here. I'm just going to kind of come back over here. I don't know if you guys remember what Rook's room looks like, but this thing is super cute and it's like cushiony. I feel like at some point he can learn to, he was actually playing on it. If you can see, he drooled on it. Um, I feel like he can learn to like pull himself up on this maybe. And if he falls and hits himself, it's not going to be that, you know, hard. And this is by Pillow Fort, I think. They had a ton of stuff. They pretty much... If he doesn't choose, because you know he can choose his own room at one point, but if he doesn't choose to go past like the wildlife theme or whatever, or the woodlands, they have so much older kids stuff like this, it's crazy. So we might not even have to change very much. So I got that, and then I went on over and I got some outfits. Every time, this is what, you're supposed to be there with me, Will. If you weren't at work, and I didn't have to go to Target to get him some more food, you could have stopped me from doing this. Why didn't you just go to Brookshire's? Because um, I needed to get the pouches, and the Earth's Best pou pouches are at Target. Um, <sighs> Will hasn't even seen these. This oh is going to be your God. first look. This is the first one. That's beautiful. Those are amazing reindeer on there, and he can wear this, and it's very, very cute. He's in 18-month clothing right now, if you guys didn't know. He's six months old. It's just, I don't know why. He keeps growing long. 
That's a long kid. He's very long. He's like almost, he's not slimming in his legs because those things are still chunky, but he's slimming out kind of and getting long. He's just still got chunky legs. So that's the first thing. This, I got this part. Apparently it's a family jammy set. So online I have to purchase the family parts, me and Will's parts, but on Christmas, we can be matching in our family jammies right here by Burt's Bees. Looks very comfortable. Do you like those? Do you want to mm -hmm. have them? Oh, yeah. jammies? And then we have, these pants were way too cool to pass up. Look at those. That's cute. The kneecaps or whatever these things are. Is monsters. Little, little monsters. And he's a little monster because he's just moving around like crazy now. And they're easy on, easy off. Cat and Jack pants, they have like area where you can fit the diaper in the butt. You don't look stupid in sweatpants. Like I know babies don't look stupid in any clothes, but sometimes the sweatpants look weird. And these are the perfect kind. Cat and Jack, and to go with that, actually, as a shirt, is this wonderful little fleecy flannel Cat and Jack shirt that goes on top of it. And it looks like it's got cloth all over it. I did this on purpose because every time I wash anything that's black, it gets stuff like this all over it. <laughs> it's so now, it's just natural. That's what it looks like right there. Don't you know that happens all the time? Mm -hmm. Final thing, are you ready for this, Will? Boom! That's cute. That is super cute. What do you think? I love it. Is Are that a deer? Um. Yes. I don't know what that is. I imagine it's a deer. Better for all. It doesn't really tell you, but it's cute. Wait, did this say reversible? No, responsible style. So yeah, we got that too. That is some of my stuff. Um, I got a bunch of different food. The pouches that we we're trying, I kind of will show y'all. We want to make our way. This. Oh, dude! I swear to God. She literally stands in front of me to accidentally kick her all the time and then I feel bad and I have to go make her, but come here, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then I gotta do this and then I gotta give her some kibbles because I feel bad. Let's give her some kibbles. She does it on purpose. I think she's got like a, I'm gonna take the pain of accidentally getting kicked a little bit by mom because she can't see me so I can get some kibbles. Apparently that's a thing. Um, Earth dust, these pouches are what he likes. And that's like the brand we've used the whole time. Grossly, I don't think that, we. anytime we've tried the, the like beef or chicken, he hasn't. But banana blueberry, they have all kinds of flavors you can even think of. Strawberry, what else is that? Banana raspberry and rice. There's even like, what happened to it? We had an Elmo one in here. Oh, yes, we have organic fruit, yogurt, strawberry, banana. You might try that one in the morning. So this is the kind of stuff that Rook is on right now. Um, we tried to do these to see if he would eat it today. And he like put it in his hand and he was like, I, I just, he couldn't figure it out. And we put it in his mouth and he just goes, so I think it's too soon for those right now. Um, but yeah, that was what was going on at Target. I know you saw my whole shopping cart and you're like, what is even going on there? That was it. Oh, the boogie wipes. Cause he's had such a crazy nose after going to that whole emergency room visit and having RSV, you get the boogie wipes. They are not as hard on your nose. They have the saline. So it kind of like breaks it down a little bit more and then you can get the gunk out, it's kind of gross. We got locked up and we got Dirty Cat and that means it's bedtime dirty. You wanna look at the camera? You wanna look at the camera? She doesn't. Good night everybody, thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up button if you love Dirty Cat. Hey Dirta, thanks for watching and until next time, we'll see you guys later, bye.